Wool Olympics, Grain Bed Safety Week, and a dedicated up and coming farmer. Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Friday Five, which is brought to you by the Nebraska Corn Board. Starting off with our social media story of the week, we know it takes many years to become a seasoned farmer. This young man from Canada is putting in the hours to get a head start by farming the carpet. He made a stop motion video of his toys harvesting wheat on his living room carpets, and according to his dad, the video took him two hours to make. We're just certain that when this young farmer has graduated from farming the carpet, he will put the same effort into tending his fields. Moving on to story number four, the results are in for the 2020 Olympics. The Wool Olympics, that is. The Young Entrepreneurs Program hosted Wool Olympics during the American Sheep Industry Association's annual convention in Arizona. The purpose of this event, according to the program's co-chair, is to educate convention attendees about the wool and lamb industry with hands-on activities. Number three, have you ever thought about changing your major but didn't know what to change it to? Now you have a new option. The University of Nebraska-Lincoln has approved a bachelor's degree in regional and community forestry. Students in the program will learn to be leaders in tree management and learn to plan in a way that addresses natural resource challenges. With the new degree, UNL becomes one of only a few university programs west of the Mississippi River to focus on community forestry, and students can declare this major in the fall of 2020. Number two, Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue proclaimed this week as Grain Bin Safety Week. Back in 2018, there were 30 documented grain entrapment cases with half of those entrapped resulting in fatality. Purdue says the purpose of Grain Bin Safety Week is to promote education and awareness of hazards and safe work practices. That's in an effort to reduce the number of accidents associated with grain handling and storage. And finally, number one this week, 21 farm and ranch groups that represent millions of U.S. farmers and ranchers are launching Farmers for a Sustainable future. It's a new coalition focused on environmental and economic sustainability. The coalition aims to serve as a primary resource for lawmakers and policymakers as they consider climate policies. The coalition aims to share U.S. Ag's commitment to sustainability and the strides they've already made to reduce agriculture's environmental footprint. That'll do it for this week's edition of Friday Five, which as always is presented by our friends at the Nebraska Corn Board. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. This is Mike. Mike likes his car, Mike likes to save money, and Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.